Today I want to talk about vintage car restoration. People don't just start doing it. They start off being a fan of vintage cars. It might be a, a bit of a hobby that they go through their life. Eventually they get up to a point where they think, I kind of want to actually do this myself. I don't want to go through and just read about it on the internet or go through magazines and looking at pretty pictures. I want to be the type of guy who builds a car. So this is where it begins. You start learning, you teach yourself exactly the full process of how to restore a vintage car and it starts off and it's scary as hell. You've invested all this money, all this time for an endeavour that might completely fail. But you keep on going and you do it for months, part by part, eventually you produce a car. But simply building a car is not the end of this little story. You fill the car and you drive it out every weekend, you're showing it off to friends and family and sometimes you even put it into you know, a vintage car competition. Show it off to the professionals out there and then people start knowing you for being a, a vintage car enthusiast. Things are good. Things just continue as they are. You've got a nice car. You have people around you who enjoy the car that you've built and uh, it works. It works well, but for some reason something happens. Real life happens and instead of going out every weekend you you do other things. You might go out with your car every second week or every third week and months go past and you realise that your car's been sitting in the garage doing nothing. The seals have all broken and parts are rusted and the car just isn't a car anymore. It's a hunk of junk rusting away. And every so often you look at the car again and you think, why the hell did I give it up? I've put so much time and effort and money into this project you know, I'm just willing to leave it. So you go out, you play with the car again. You might, you might fix a couple of things, pump up the tires, grease all the bits that need greasing, and then you drive it out a weekend or so, and you're just not happy with the results. You think, if I really just put in the time and kept on going, I wouldn't have to deal with this. And now I've got this big, huge car that is such a burden. That's kind of where I am at with this stupid YouTube channel. Uh, it's not a case where I've forgotten how to make movies or talk to a camera. It's, I've, I've left it just sitting there dormant, rusting away, falling apart, and it's to a point where I just can't look at it anymore. There's, there's nothing wrong with the channel. I just need to put a bit of work into it and it'll be all fine. The anxiety that I've generated for myself over how bad the channel is at the moment has, uh, well, it's eating away at me. And I've got a thousand and one excuses why I haven't really picked up the camera and so working on it again. You know, uh, my computer's broken at the moment. Uh, before that, my camera was broken. I've had too much time uh, that I need to allocate for work or I'm too busy traveling or I'm suffering from depression or any of a thousand and one stupid, stupid, excuses that really means nothing to anyone but myself. Instead of just picking up the camera like I have attempted many times before, I'm gonna put something on the line, just something as a bit of a, a motivator. Giving myself some, some physical thing to motivate myself is gonna be very, very difficult because I don't particularly have anyone to motivate me. Um, I mean, sure, I do have people, but you know, they're just people on the other side of the keyboard or on the other, other side of the phone. They can say whatever they want, but until I want to force myself into doing whatever I want to do, I'm not going to listen to them. I'm just going to take their advice and ignore it. So I've decided I'm going to do three videos a week, regardless of how shit they are. And I've said this before, but uh, for every video that I don't upload to YouTube, I'm going to throw away some money. Maybe $20 per video. Um, and I'll do this over a period of three months. So three videos over three months, well, three videos a week over three months, and yeah, $20 penalty if I don't upload. And I'll give the money to the first person online who catches me out, catches me slacking. I'll pay it straight into your account uh, if I don't upload on, let's say, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursdays. That should work, right? And yeah, I know it's not a lot of money, but over three videos a week, over a period of three months, it might add up, who knows? And right now, I've got time. I've lost a bunch of clients, and the little bit in my noggin that says, okay, 
dude, you're gonna make things. That thing's broken and that's causing me issues with getting new clients. So forcing myself to do this with a bit of a penalty might help. Might not, who knows, this is a stupid a little experiment of my own. And filming this video has been incredibly difficult. Um, right over there, I don't know if you can see. Oh well, whatever. Oh, I'm holding this with one hand, so I've got stuff in my other hand, so I can't really operate this camera correctly, but behind me is, if you know Melbourne, a bridge. I don't know Melbourne, so I don't know the name of that bridge, but I've been filming, well, trying to film this video all the way in Flinders Street Station. So what's that? One, two, maybe three kilometers walk? And here I am now, finishing off the video. Every attempt that uh, I made with this video had failed miserably uh, with me being tongue-tied and unable to say things. And it's really annoying because it's just an anxiety that I've created for myself. Um, no one's here to listen. And even when I did have people around me um, listening in, like they care, I shouldn't really have any problems picking up the camera and saying things but for some reason I do that and as soon as I hit the record button words just don't form right in my mouth. I stare at the camera and then bleh, nothing, nothing whatsoever. So I'm very thankful that I'm actually able to make it to the end of this video without uh, having to turn around and uh, go home empty-handed. So I'll edit this, stick it online, hopefully it encourages me to create a video. I don't care what video it is, it doesn't have to be a vlog, it can just be a video or a, of birds and trees and things, but just getting out there, working on a broken computer and uploading should do this brain of mine some good because making videos, taking photos, writing, all these other creative outlets that I always used to rely on I seem to just dry it up. And I don't like that because being creative is me. That's that's my identity. Uh, I, don't, I don't feel that I've got much to offer this world apart from random things that come out of my brain that people seem to like. So, you know, 20 bucks. Well, uploading this video has just saved me $20. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna spend that money on a steak or something. That's how this works. Anyway. Video over.